Our previous Spider-Man sells out to our current Zod to try to keep his home. Now this is a director that I don't know how to say the name, the name of, so I'm just going to put it up on the screen. This movie stars Michael Shannon and Andrew Garfield. This is about the foreclosure crisis. The plot of this movie is you have a construction worker named Dennis Nash who loses his construction job. I don't want to say how, I'll let the movie tell you how he loses his construction job. He has a loan on his family home that he was hoping the construction job would pay for, but he has lost that construction job, so he, his mother, played by Laura Dern from Jurassic Park, and his son, Connor, are being forced to move out of their house. Their stuff are being put out in the streets by this realtor named Rick Carver, played by Michael Shannon. They are forced to live in a motel full of other people that have lost their homes. Dennis Nass looks around to try to find another construction job, but he can't find a construction job. There's nobody hiring. The only person that's hiring is the very man that kicked him out of his home, Rick Carver. So basically, Dennis Nass has to sell his soul to the man he sees as, as the devil in order to try to get back his home. The job he gets is he's taking people's air conditioners and water pumps, people that have taken loans on their home, the same type of loan that he took on his house. Then he does this cast for keys thing where people are giving up their keys to him for $3,500 to put down in the, in the loan that they have on their house, hoping to try to keep it, but they're gonna lose it anyway. And eventually, Dennis Nass has to kick people out of their home for Rick Carver in hopes that he can get his home back and he sees the effect of the foreclosure crisis right in front of him. This is a really good movie showing you what the foreclosure crisis is really all about and how it affects people. Andrew Garfield is excellent in this movie playing this guy that has a conscience and wish he could do the right thing by not kicking people out of their homes, but he has to in order to try to put a roof over his family's head and put food in his son's mouth and everything. And he feels this is the only decision he can make in order to do this. And the movie shows the consequences of his actions by doing this, what his family thinks about it once they realize what he's doing. Michael Shannon is excellent as this heartless realtor who doesn't care about the fact that he's kicking people out of their homes. He just does it anyway because he gets a lot of money from doing it and he doesn't care. And Laura Dern is really good in the movie as Dennis Nass's mom. I really did like her in the movie. And this is just a really good movie showing you how this foreclosure crisis has been affecting people. This movie is set in Florida, but this is happening all over the country. This is happening in my own area of Massachusetts. I've heard of the foreclosure crisis happening here in my area, and it's really depressing and heartbreaking what happens when you see people getting kicked out of their homes. It is really saddening, and this movie does a really good job of showing that. The Negatives, though, of this movie, there are some negatives, is that there are some cliches in the movie, and the movie doesn't have that much rewatchability. I don't see myself watching this movie a dozen times, like watching Star Wars a dozen times. And if I were to watch this movie a dozen times, I would get very depressed, <laughs> or I would get very angry and want to do something about this. <laughs> Which is what is the purpose of this movie. This movie is to try to get you angry and to try to get you to do something about the foreclosure crisis and to show you the truth of what's happening with the big banks kicking people out of their homes and everything. So I really did like this movie and I really think people should see this. I'm going to give this movie a B. Definitely check this movie out. And that's all I got to say about 99 Homes.